Today's episode will include Spanish students travel to Spain, volleyball captain's interview, mini theater highlights, upcoming homecoming info, part three of our new superintendent interview, sports and secondary school announcements. Thanks for tuning in to BNC TV, your best source for Bulldog news. Hi and welcome back to episode three of the school year. Five Spanish students traveled to Spain last June. Here they are to talk more about the trip. My name is Erica Gaby and I'm in 10th grade. I'm Megan Laughlin and I'm a junior. And I'm Maxine McLaren and I'm also a junior. Um, we went to Spain and Morocco from the dates June 18th to June 27th with our Spanish class and other classes from BBE and Eden Valley. Um, what we did kind of the whole week, we went to a lot of cathedrals and we kind of, we learned about their culture and the food they eat was very interesting. Um, I wouldn't say I liked it at all, but I definitely liked m most of it. Yeah, some of it was a little different and it was new and interesting, but sometimes it wasn't like... <laughs> 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 It wasn't <laughs> good. Yeah. Sometimes it was a little too strange for too our taste. Too Spanish, yeah. <laughs> My favorite part was either Barcelona and the beach day or going to Toledo and seeing them make a sword. My favorite part was visiting the Alhambra, which is this big garden palace. That was really pretty and interesting. My favorite part was definitely seeing um, or riding a camel and being on the ferry and then seeing like all the different views and all the different countries. So, can you try that? If you're interested in ever going to a foreign country, I definitely recommend being in a Spanish class because it's very much worth the experience. And if you are considering or wishing to attend one of these trips that we're doing, our next one is in 2020 and you can talk to Mrs. Gaby or Mr. Wilkie to get details. I had the chance to interview our volleyball captains this week to talk about their season. I'm Kylie Herson and I'm a senior DS. <laughs> I'm Olivia Riley, I'm a senior and I'm a libero. I'm Abby Schaefer, I'm a junior and an outside hitter. I'm Jenna Lundquist, I'm a senior and a setter. Uh, we're having a great season this year, we are 13 and three. And we have six games left. We've had some tough competition this year, but we're handling it great. Uh, there's a lot of things going well for us this season. We have good communication skills, we have good energy, we keep the momentum very well, and we're good at executing the balls. And Olivia broke the record on digs this year, so congrats to her. The current record was 1,120 digs held by Tanya Laser. Our super fans are doing pretty good, but they can always do better, so we encourage you guys, we challenge you to <laughs> be better super fans. And come on out for homecoming week. Uh, Thursday we play Eden Valley, it'll be a tough one, so we need all the support we can get. Amen. <laughs> On Friday, September 21st and Saturday, September 22nd, the Painesville Mini Theater performed the play Witches vs. Princesses. Here are the highlights from the play. Once upon a time, there were three witches. And this is our story. How come the princesses have to come in and take over every story? Because we're more beautiful than you. And we're graceful. Three graceful, big ones. <laughs> go! I really do want to be Kate the Great. I want to build the biggest building the kingdom has ever seen. It's all fun games for us. It is fun being a witch. So, what are we going to do with all the people we capture? Beat them. So, he means a lot of potion we use on you. <laughs> no! I need guy spray or a guy powder. Wait, wait. Well, the cutest thing is that he's a lost boy. So, let's make him foul. Choose not selfish things or anything gory. So go in peace and remember this story. We now continue with part three of our Meet Mr. Bullard, our new superintendent interview. What are your uh, thoughts on open lunch for students? Open lunch, that's an excellent topic. Um, I, I think it's, it's, um, I think it's something that we need to, to get out and we need to discuss it. Um, one of the things that I would really be interested in pursuing is um, what we would call community lunch. 
So um, they, there are some schools out east that are doing this, and I'm sure it's trickled closer this way, but the thing that really would intrigue me is if we had a high school schedule that um, every kid took classes, periods one, two, and three, and then period four, the entire building was, was on lunch. The kitchen had an hour and kids had an opportunity they could they had an hour to themselves it was their time they could do what they needed to do with that hour it could be obviously a part of it's going to be eating lunch but maybe you have a big test coming up and you want to review with an instructor maybe there's a club or organization that needs a 20-minute meeting that could happen during that 60-minute lunch time um, maybe there's kids that want to work out during the middle of the day maybe there's a, a an intramural basketball league that we can get started that kids want to play basketball for a half hour in the middle of the day all of those things I mean just think of what we could do if we could take 60 minutes and say you know what you guys are young adults you know when you're hungry you know when you have to eat the kitchens open if you need to go grab lunch go grab lunch but if you have other needs how do we meet them how do we meet whatever your needs are so to me, that's the type of stuff that I personally would be excited about, is how could we look at a schedule that really gets away from this idea of, well, we have six or seven or eight class periods because that's what we've always had. And let's start talking about what is it that our students are really looking for? What are they asking us for? In some cases, what are they begging for? And then let's get to it and figure out how do we meet it? How do we get that kind of stuff done? So that's one thing that I would like to see. Does it relate to open lunch? Maybe. I mean, if everyone had a 60 minute break where it was kind of their time, could we have open lunch? I think we could. Can students be responsible and respectful about open lunch and still be to class for afternoon class on time? I think they can. And so I think all of those things are conversations that we need to start having. Um, but the first thing is we need to just be okay with getting rid of kind of what's been history or tradition and, and let's really start talking about where are we going, what does it look like in the future, and, and how do we best meet our students' needs. Now for Bulldog Sports and announcements. And now for Bulldog Sport News. The volleyball team is currently 15-3 and, and their next game is at Maple Lake on Tuesday, October 2nd at 7.15. The Bulldog football team is now 3-1 with a win against Holdingford last Friday. The Dogs have a away game against Howard Lake Waverly Winstead on Friday, September 28th. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. And the cross country team had their annual home meet on Tuesday, September 25th. Good luck to all the Bulldogs. Remember, homecoming starts next week starting with Homecoming Coronation provided by the High School Student Council. It's on Monday, October 1st in the auditorium. Doors open at 6.30 and the program starts at 7. The cost is $5. Paying students attending will receive a $1 coupon to use at the homecoming dance and game night. The homecoming dress-up days are on Monday, wake-up day, break out your PJs. Tuesday, terrific twos, dress up like your favorite duo. Wednesday, camel day, no weapons allowed. Thursday is color day, seniors, togas, juniors, black, Sophomore is white, freshman pink, and on Friday is Spirit Day. Cheer on those Bulldogs. The middle school homecoming dance provided by the Middle School Student Council is on Friday, October 5th in the middle school gym from 3.30 to 5.30. The cost is $5. Dance music provided by Mike Knights. Snacks and beverages provided. The high school homecoming celebration dance and game night is on Friday, October 5th middle school gym. Students are asked to please enter door number 11 from 9.30 to 11.30 following the football game. The cost is $5. Dance music provided by the Mike and Knights. There will also be ping pong, bean bags, and games. Have a great night hanging out with friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Go Bulldogs and stay cool, Painesville. Our super fans are lacking a little bit, but we <laughs> hope. To... Okay, don't put that in there. That's mean. Hi, and welcome back to episode three. Ooh, ready right off the bat, right away. Okay.